Tore through a South Austin warehouse overnight, leaving a cutting edge company without its headquarters. Icon builds 3D printed homes and has been gaining a lot of momentum. But as KXAN's Tom Miller explains, this fire could be a significant setback. Firefighters say they only learned that this building was on fire after a paramedic who was leaving the hospital saw the flames and called them. There are two warehouses here. The one in the back is a total loss, whereas this one right behind me is at least badly damaged. The building collapsing. Uh, we're working on moving further up. This video shared with me by one of the firefighters on scene gives you an idea of the intensity firefighters dealt with overnight. They first arrived around 3.30 in the morning and had to back off of fighting it from within because of the potential for collapse. Because of that, they had to rely on drones to be their eyes in the sky, giving firefighters up on ladders a better idea of where they should be aiming. Austin EMS had their drone here and our drones uh, as well have uh, FLIR capability for looking infrared. It's a heat thermal uh, sensor, so we were able to it, when it was still dark, we used that to pinpoint the hot spots. And so now uh, we're able to use the drone to pinpoint where we, we can direct those master streams. This building housed Icon, a 3D home printing company, just made headlines breaking ground on a hundred home community in Georgetown. Last year, the company worked with the Texas Military Department unveiling the largest 3D printed barracks at Camp Swift that's out near Bastrop. The 3,800 square foot building is set to house up to 72 soldiers. Prior to that, it helped construct 3D printed homes for people experiencing homelessness. It's even worked with NASA building rocket launch pads and replicating the surface on Mars. While we don't know how big of a setback this is going to be for ICON, I was told by employees off camera that it houses not only office space, but also building equipment and supplies. Reporting in Austin, Tom Miller, KXAN News. Firefighters say no one was in the building when they arrived. They're still investigating how it started.